Adrian Target, a retired history teacher from Somerset, England, walked into his local newsagents, he was startled to see a familiar face staring up at him. That face, appearing on the front page of several newspapers, belonged to a distant relative of his around 10,000 years distant, actually known as Cheddar Man. Ancient DNA from Cheddar Man A Mesolithic skeleton discovered in 1903 at Goff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset has helped museum scientists paint a portrait of one of the oldest modern humans in Britain. This discovery is consistent with a number of other Mesolithic human remains discovered throughout Europe. Cheddar Man is the oldest complete skeleton to be discovered in the UK, and has long been hailed as the first modern Briton who lived around 7150 BC. The Cheddar Man earned his name, not because of his fondness for cheese, which likely wasn't cultivated until around 3,000 years later. But because he was found in Cheddar Gorge in Somerset, England, which is, incidentally, where cheddar cheese originates. More than 25 years ago, in an amazing piece of DNA detective work. Using genetic material taken from the cavity of one of Cheddar Man's molar teeth. Scientists were able to identify that Adrian Target as a direct descendant. Analysis of his nuclear DNA indicates that he was a typical member of the Western European hunter-gatherer population at the time, with lactose intolerance. Probably with light-colored eyes, most likely green but possibly blue or hazel. Dark brown or black hair, and dark to black skin. There are a handful of genetic variants linked to reduced pigmentation, including some that are very widespread in European populations today. However, Cheddar Man had ancestral versions of all these genes, strongly suggesting he would have a dark to black skin tone. The initial scientific analysis in 1997, carried out for a TV series on archaeological findings in Somerset, England, revealed Target's family line had persisted in the Cheddar Gorge area for around nine millennia. Their genes being passed from mother to daughter through what is known as mitochondrial DNA which is inherited from the egg. To put it simply, Adrian Target and Cheddar Man have a common maternal ancestor. It is only Cheddar Man's skin coloring that marks the difference across this vast space of time. It was previously assumed that human skin tones lightened some 40,000 years ago. As populations migrated north out of the harsh African sunlight where darker skin had a protective function. At less sunny latitudes, lighter skin would have conferred an evolutionary advantage because it absorbs more sunlight which is required to produce vitamin D, a nutrient vital for preventing disabling illnesses such as the bone disease rickets. Later, when farming crops began to replace hunter-gatherer lifestyles and communities ate less meat, offal and oily fish, a dietary source of vitamin D, paler skins would have conferred an even greater advantage and accelerated the spread of relevant genes. However, Cheddar Man's complexion chimes with more recent research suggesting genes linked to lighter skin only began to spread about 8,500 years ago. A period of 3,000 years, dark-skinned hunter-gatherers such as Target's ancestors interbred with early farmers, who migrated from the Middle East and who carried two genes for light skin, known as SLC24A5 and SLC45A2. Are you related to Cheddar Man? Modern-day British people share approximately 10% of their genetic ancestry with the European population to which Cheddar Man belonged. But they aren't direct descendants. Current thinking is that the Mesolithic population that Cheddar Man belonged to was mostly replaced by the farmers that migrated into Britain later. Overall, this discovery highlights the importance of understanding our human origins and how our ancestors lived. It's exciting to think about what other discoveries may be waiting to be made in the field of human evolution.